Mati Yahu chapter 17. And after six days, Yahusha took Kepha and Jacob and Yohanan, his brother, and brought them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transformed before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became as white as the light. And see, Moshe and Eliyahu appeared to them, talking with him. And Kepha answered and said to Yahusha, Master, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make three booths, one for you, one for Moshe, and one for Eliyahu. While he was still speaking, see a bright cloud overshadowed them, and see a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my son, the beloved, in whom I did delight. Hear him. And when the taught ones heard, they fell on their faces and were much afraid. But Yahusha came near and touched them and said, Rise and do not be afraid. And having lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Yahusha only. And as they were coming down from the mountain, Yahusha commanded them, saying, Do not mention the vision to anyone until the son of Adam is raised from the dead. And his taught ones asked him, saying, Why then do the scribes say that Eliyahu has to come first? And Yahusha answered and said to them, Eliyahu is indeed coming first and shall restore all. But I say to you that Eliyahu has already come, and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they wished. In this way, the son of Adam is also about to suffer by them. Then the taught ones understood that he had spoken to them about Yohanan their Mercer. And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to them, kneeling down to him and saying, Master, have compassion on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers badly. For he often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your taught ones, but they were unable to heal him. And Yahushua answered and said, O generation, unbelieving and perverted, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Yahushua rebuked the demon, and he came out of him. And the child was healed from that hour. Then the taught ones came to Yahushua by himself and said, why were we unable to cast him out? And Yahushua said to them, Because of your unbelief. For truly I say to you, If you have a belief as a mustard seed, You shall say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it shall move. And no matter shall be impossible for you. But this kind does not go out except through prayer and fasting. And while they were staying in Galil, Yahushua said to them, The son of Adam is about to be delivered up into the hands of men, And they shall kill him. And the third day he shall be raised up. And they were deeply grieved. And when they came into Kephar Nahum, those who received the tax came to Kephar and said, Does your teacher not pay the tax? He said, Yes. And when he came into the house, Yahushua spoke to him first, saying, What do you think, Shimon? From whom do the sovereigns of the earth take toll or tax? From their own sons or from the strangers? Kepha then said to him, From the strangers, Yahushua said to him, Then the sons are exempt. But lest we cause them to stumble, go to the sea, cast in the hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you shall find a stater. Take that and give it to them for me and you.